Uh, well, hi there. Um, this, so this is my uh, follow-up video to that last one in which I said I was going to try to demonstrate this, uh, this really stupid idea of trying to dead reckon around inside of a hot spot to locate uh, persistent objects uh, you know, specifically subsurface deposits, you know, uh, and yeah, it, it's, well, it can it more or less can be done, but you know, it's, it's, uh, it's not something I don't think most people are going to want to do, uh, but I'll get into that in a minute, uh, I just want to, <laughs> what I've done before I started this was, I actually went, what I've been, okay, what I've been doing here is, I, um, this, I'm in the system, uh, uh, what system, um, I'm in system 4351, hip 4351, yeah, that's where I'm at, and uh, I'm, I'm staring at the, uh, the 10th planet out here, this one right here, this is a well-known this is a well-known mining site. It's got a triple uh, low-temperature diamond hotspot on it, which uh, I've got one of those uh, highlighted right up there. Uh, specifically, I have the... There's three of them there. There's two that are closer to the planet, and then there's one that's further out from the planet. I'm highlighting the one that's further out from the planet. That's important. Uh... Because uh, in order to make this work, in order to dead reckon your way around these, these spots like this, you really have to pay a lot of attention to keeping oriented. Because you're going to use the, your distance from these hot spots and your distance from this planet and your, uh, and the ori and your orientation with regards to, for, say, for example... the nearest next star system to figure out where you are inside this hot spot more or less uh, you have to keep an, you have to check on the nearest star there because uh, at this point the nearest star happens to be on the other side of this ring which tells me which side of this ring I'm on which is important because if I happen to be on the other side of the ring this picture would look largely the same but everything all the directions would be reversed so you can get lost really easily unless you pay attention to all this crap and you have to make notes about all this uh, what it comes down to is that if you want to actually find anything this way there's a shitload of uh, work in advance and overhead involved uh, <laughs> And to start out with, all you're doing is wandering around at random in there looking for something that's worth your time to actually map. Okay, so um, to begin with... Ah. Okay, well, to begin with, uh, what I've done here is I've been down in this ring before here just to map out something so I could make this demonstration. And uh, I've made a few notes about what I found there. These here, these are, this is, this is the dumb, the really stupid method I've come up with. I take screenshots. This is necessary, so I have a, a hope of recognizing what I'm looking for. And then I record the, the quote-unquote coordinates in terms of distances from these various hotspots. And, uh, and where the nearest star is. And what direction I'm looking in. Uh, and so forth and so forth and um, but anyway this is what I'm looking for right here uh, for this demonstration there's a there's a double uh, there's a double uh, SSD rock this is it right here it's in a little tiny constellation of rocks here which is what I'm hoping to recognize when I get down in there not something that's necessarily going to happen but I'm going to try uh, and then here's the here's what my nav screen actually looks like while I'm sitting in that position. All right, these distances here, this highlighted uh, this highlighted deal right here. This is the hot spot 
that I'm going to initially target. It's the one that's closest to the outer rim of the ring. It's important to keep it. It's important to know which one that is because, as you can see, all three of these are labeled exactly the same. So it's quite possible, I believe, to get down in there and uh, get into get into positions where these will change where the, where these will change their positions, and uh, you won't know for sure which one is which. Um, I also use the void opal hotspot down here as as a reference because. Even if you know that you're, even if you know which one you're highlighting here, these two being so being so close together in distance, they could get swapped back and forth, and you wouldn't know. Uh, this thing here hopefully serves as a check on that. These ones, these further ones out, they're basically useless because their distances are not going to change that much, no matter what. These ones that are close in like that are more useful because in combination they define an area inside the ring that's hopefully small enough so that you have a chance of actually finding something. <laughs> In theory, uh, sometimes it works. <laughs> uh, but yeah, basically on the bottom line is, you know, uh, what is, is that what you're hoping to do is to get down in there and locate an area where there's just a lot of SSDs like real close together. You know, to where once you found one of them, you can easily find the rest of them without having to, you know, get into a super cruise or anything like that. Because most of the time you're going to waste is just getting to that area. Once you're there, you can just pick up whatever happens to be there. Uh, so I'm going to not stop wasting time here and get down in here and try to see if I can make this work. Uh, to begin with yeah there we are so I'm on the right side of the ring yeah there's the three ice diamond hotspots I need to target that one consistency is the key you always have to approach from the same side you always have to try to um, well you want to be consistent right Okay, now I've made an. I don't. I don't want to switch screens here. So I happen to know that uh, I want to try to end up at a spot that's about uh, 5.7, about 5.71 mm's away from this spot. Uh, yeah, closer to the planet than this spot is that I'm highlighting. I'm not going to try to land right on the spot to, that I've uh, where this thing is. But I'm gonna ho I'm trying to get I'm gonna try to get fairly close, and then do a short a very short uh, super cruise jump from there to somewhere in the vicinity of where I'm trying to go, uh, which is a pain in the ass. But it works out anyway because th there's a real good chance on your initial drop you're gonna get approached by pirates anyway. And since at the moment I happen to be carrying some ice diamonds, uh, this is not something I really want to deal with. Uh, Okay, so let me just make sure. I want to get. I want to. I want to. I want to dive down in here and, and end up 5.71 mm's away from that spot, and closer to these other two, and then I'll deal with the rest of that shit when I get down in there. See how close I can get. Yeah, and I have to t you know I have to take my time because you know this is this is really what am I at here? I'm at uh, boy. I should change the colors because this is a pain in the ass. I have to look at my nav screen. Ah, well, I want to. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm way off. Yeah, this is the one I need to highlight and I need I need to go back this way now. I believe. Yeah, see, it's easy to get fucking turned around on this shit for sure. Yeah, I need to go this way. Four point Okay.
I'm not totally sold on using this system for this technique either because it doesn't oh because it really doesn't seem ideal to me for various reasons uh, that's not what I'm used to every system is different a lot of systems this just ain't gonna work at all <laughs> I mean if you're in a system with 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 basically one double hotspot and nothing else no I'm getting close okay I want to be 5.71. Just about. Oh, fuck. Well. Okay, well, fuck. Good enough, man. I'll get there. Alright, so. Uh, yeah, there we are. I had totally the wrong thing l lined up there. Alright, so uh, the numbers I'm trying to end up with. Are uh, 303, 372. I'm actually close on that one, if that's the right one. And 5.46 and 23.3, because that one's important too. Yeah, and there's your there's your spawning ship, which is probably a pirate. It could be a miner, but yeah, it, looks, it doesn't look like they're going to molest me this time. Okay, well, the first thing I'm going to deal with is I'm going to try to get into the... I'm going to try to get this right. This needs to be 23.3. So I need to get... Uh, and I'm at 23.9, so I'm going to be going in uh, this general direction. Well, towards him anyway. But then in addition to that, uh, this, this deal here, he's at five horse. I also want to approach him, which I'm currently not doing. I don't know if you're getting the idea of what a pain in the ass this is yet, but yeah, yeah, this is definitely a pain in the ass. Okay, so I'm approaching both of them as near as I can. I actually need to be approaching this one more than that one. Because the, uh, the difference in how far I am from this this thing is a lot bigger than that one so I need to be appro I need to be approaching him a lot more than I need to be Oh, wait a minute. I need to be at 571. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I need to be, I need to get further away from this damn thing. <laughs> so, possibly uh possibly I'm going in the wrong direction. Uh let me see here. These here I need to be at uh, 372. He's nearly where he needs to be. Okay. if that's the right one and this one I need to be at 303 so I need to get further away from him yeah those two could be switched around mm. let me try going this way yeah I can't say for sure I'm actually gonna find anything here but we'll see said I don't think this system is really ideal at all for this okay so we're approaching him right and then I need to get uh, further from him which I more or less am Okay, well, I'm kind of forced to go this way, I think. But then this one, I really don't want to be changing much at all. Okay, well, that seems doable. And this one... I need to be approaching, which I am. Okay, so uh, I think this is the general direction I need to go in. So I'm just going to focus on this guy 
and try to get him in the area of 23.3. So, yeah. I'll see how that goes. Drive charging. Ready to engage. Okay, well, um, jumping in and out of these rings that's such a low altitude is a little bit problematic. Come on, bitch. Oh, no cursing. Okay, 23.3 is what we want. We're at six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're at five, we're at four. We're at three. Yeah. Getting into, um, getting into range with him is gonna be relatively easy because he's so far away. So it's, he's a very rough, uh, very rough uh, measure of where you need to be. Of course, all these other numbers are going to get knocked all to hell. I need to get to uh, 5.71, which means, which now means I need to get closer to this guy. Isn't this interesting? Oh my God! What the fuck? Yeah, this is what I hate about this ship. These fucking pirates are a pain in the ass. Fortunately, it's not too hard to lose them. And I'm just going to drop out immediately. That was just to lose him. Oh, motherfucker. What is this shit? Okay, asshole. Normally they give up after a jump like that, but he came in he came in from outside the system, so he's probably trapped. Yeah, see. This dumb motherfucker came out from outside the system, so he's just being an asshole. I'm gonna have to jump out of here and come back in. And probably let him interdict. Yeah, see. Did I mention this is a pain in the ass? That's never happened to me before trying to do this. This this guy came in from outside the ring and uh, tried to make a run at interdicting me, and he's being a lot more persistent than the than the pirates that you run into when you're actually in the ring. They apparently there is a difference. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, he was actually chasing me, which the pirates in the ring, yeah. You make a quick jump like that, that's usually all it takes to get rid of them. Not this motherfucker. Yeah, okay, well. Okay, well, I'm going to make another approach here. Hopefully, hopefully he's gone now. I've got the correct uh, hotspot uh, lit up here. Okay. 5.71. There's the void opal hotspot that I'm using. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, 5.71 is what I want. Or a near two as I can get. I mean, I've, I think you're getting the idea that this is definitely not worth your time. <laughs> Unless you know where there's a whole lot of shit like right close together. Which potentially you can end up doing, you know. I mean, I mean, there are there are areas in the ring where you've just got a whole lot of stuff, and if you find it once and can find your way back again, you can save a lot of time with this. On the whole, I'm at six point seven something. Okay. Okay, now I need to come down. Yeah, I'm getting there.
Okay, we're right in there. That's close enough. 5.75. Yeah, that's close enough. Because I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to jump around to get these other numbers to get to to line up anyway. But he's more or less correct. Yeah, there's another one. That's not that same asshole. Yeah, I bet it is. Because he's not wasting any time. He's just going to fucking... Oh, man. Yeah, and he's going to show right back up, ain't he? Maybe I shook him that time. Nah, he's gonna pop up. Well, no, he, yeah. Not seeing him. Okay, well. Well, cross your fingers. Okay, well, anyway. Let me do this number again. Okay, so um, 23.3, which means I need to get a little bit closer to him. And uh, where else we got here? Uh, 5.76, not real far from where we need to be with him. Need to get about 10 further away from him. 10 further away. Shit, there's more stuff out here. Well, that looks like a miner, so I'm not going to worry about him. What about this dude? Yeah, he's probably a miner. I hope. And uh, this one here, I need to get closer to him, so that looks about right. And this one here, we don't want him to change much at all. So, something like that, if that works. And I'm still approaching him, which I kind of need to do. I'm thinking more like uh, this kind of a direction. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll give that a try and see what happens. Frame shift drive charging. Ready to engage. Three, two, one, engage. Yeah, I'm not sure this is good. This is, I'm probably going to have to. Come on, get closer. Okay, to hell with this. I'm just going to go like this. That's gonna. Oh man, you doing it? Ah, oh, fuck. It's that same motherfucker. I'm gonna have to let him interdict me. That's what I'm gonna have to do. That's the only way I'm getting rid of him. Come on, where you at? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Whatever. There. And fuck you. Okay, well hopefully that's all I'll hear from him for a while. That's never happened. I've done this... F oh, God. Yeah, it is a risk, though, I guess. Did I mention this is a pain in the ass? It keeps me entertained, you know? I mean... Ah! I need to check and make sure I'm still on the right side of the ring. I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah, that looks good. Ah! 
Okay. <laughs> Five point seven one. And right in between the other two, more or less. I should change these colors because this shit is hard to read, man. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Oh, fuck. Six. I kind of want to end up between these other two also. God, all these stupid fucking fleet carriers out here are fucking confusing me. Okay, I want to end up somewhere in that area. Now I need to go this way. And that way. Okay, now we're getting there. Oh, you're I, that's about as close as you're ever going to get, man. Yeah. 5.71 72. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. And there will be pirates or something. Hopefully just miners. 23.4. Oh, we are. Da I am damn close to where I need to be with him, too. I'm just going to go straight at him because i got to jump out of here anyway. These are probably pirates. Well, yeah, maybe not. Well, i got to jump anyway, so it doesn't matter. Frameshift drive charging. Ready to engage. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, fuck. Did I mention this is a pain in the ass? Three. Okay. Stop. Okay. Fortunately, after making one or two of them jumps under normal circumstances, the odds of you picking up uh, pirates and shit does go down a little bit. So that's very useful. <laughs> It's very handy, yeah. Okay, so, um, that number is correct. And it's not too likely to change because he's far away. you got to move quite a way to make that number change. These others, this guy should be, yeah, that's the one that's, that's the outboard one. I need to be closer to him. I need to be at 5.71 to him. I'm not going to just go straight at him though because I need to take because at this point I need to take these others into consideration uh, this one should be 3.72 which means I need to get uh, about yeah 20 some odd closer to him or further away Okay, well that seems reasonable. And this one needs to be at 
303, which means I need to be closer to him. Okay, well, so I simultaneously need to get further from him and closer to him. By roughly about the same amount. So that's not going to work. Yeah. Probably more like this direction. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. And then this one, I should still be approaching him somewhat. So yeah, that's more or less the direction I'm looking at. Ah. This is looking kind of fucked up. Well, let me see where this gets me. Ready to engage. Come on, bitch. If I get interdicted, if I if I get another one of these motherfuckers inter trying to interdict me again, I'm gonna be pissed. That's annoying. That never happens. What the fuck? Why am I not approaching him? Oh, yeah, you have to be careful about that. Yeah, that's gonna throw me off. 75, 74, 73, come on. 72, 71, there we go. And I overshot. No, I'm there. Yeah. Oh, man, I yeah, that did not work out. 23, that did not work out well. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this system is ideal for this situation at all. That threw out my big number. That's not good. This works a lot better in the other system I do this in. I have a better I have a better uh, selection of uh, I have a better selection of hot spots over there. A little easier to navigate with them. This this here is not ideal. Every system is different. This one does work. I have a, I actually got in here earlier and actually did locate something I'd found earlier, which I'm hoping to demonstrate at some point. It may take some time. <laughs> Okay, so I don't want to change him much at all. I'm just going to worry about the two bigger numbers. But this guy, I need to get further away from him. Okay. So something like that. Okay. Right. See, of course, the thing that's, that will really fuck you up is that since it's possible to get turned around on these, since they all have the same labels, it's entirely possible. I suspect. To get totally lost, even though, you know, because you, you, if, if you think... If you think that if you get the labels turned around, it's quite possible to get into a situation where you can't make the numbers line up. <laughs> because you're in the wrong fucking... Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go.
That should be 571. That should be 372. That should be 303. So 571, I need to be closer. 372, I need to be further away. 324, I need to be closer. So this one needs to be closer. This one needs to be closer, which he is not. Right. And this one needs to be further away. Which he is. Okay, so. Uh, at this point, I'm dealing with some smaller numbers. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna boost there. And this will take some time. <laughs> Maybe I should do a jump, a really short one. Just a really short one. What could go wrong? Just to get me somewhere in the in the neighborhood, you know. That's that same. Ah, oh, yeah. See, I'm, I'm already. Yeah, there, there. Yeah, this is. I knew that was gonna happen. I need to start running. Motherfucker's gonna jump right in on me. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start over. <laughs> I should probably just start this whole process over. <laughs> Yeah, because this is something I hadn't foreseen. This hasn't happened before yet to me in this system, but, you know. I guess with this being a triple hotspot, there's more pirates flying around the system or something, you know. Because I've been doing this for a couple of weeks now in other systems, and, nah. Uh, this is the first time I've had to deal with this. Come on, asshole. Come on. Sure, whatever. Come on. Do it. Get your shit over with.
You know, it would be nice if they could quit wasting time and just get it, get it over with. You know what I'm saying? Come on. You think you got it figured out yet, Ace? Jesus Christ, man. There we go. Okay. Maybe I should just give up on this. I mean, on trying to make this demonstration is what I'm saying. I don't really, you know, this works fine for me in, in other systems. I don't mind here. I'm just, I'm just here so I can actually demonstrate this without giving it, without giving away anything I actually care about, you know, that I actually depend on, you know, <laughs> to make money and shit. Uh, is that the right one? Okay, I want 5.71. <coughs> Fucking coronavirus. Mm. Okay, so I'm more or less looking for that area right in between these two. Something like that, you know. Yeah, I really should change the colors on this because this is, this is about to make me blind, man. Oh, I'm close. Yeah, I'm right in there. Just want to go straight down. Okay, good enough. Ooh, I am right at 5.71. But of course the other numbers are all fouled up. Not too bad. I need to be about 0.2 closer to the to the void opals there. kind of like to stay right about where we are with this guy so yeah that's going to be problematic I probably need to go the other way uh -huh. like this yeah something like that And I need to get two points closer to him. Well, not really changing this guy much at all, if possible. Okay, let me see if I can make this jump without... S oh my god, that's annoying. Okay. No, that's not right. I want to be focused on this guy, because I'm trying to get him first. Okay. No, wait. Now I'm turned around again. I need to get further away from his ass. See? Yeah. Bigger number to smaller number. Bigger to smaller. Bigger to smaller. Bigger to smaller. Bigger to smaller. Okay. Okay. All right. 
So I need to get away from him by two. And try to keep him about the same. Something like that. Right. Frameshift drive charging. Ready to engage. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, one more, come on ass, oh there we go, okay, yeah those are good, now, 372 is where I should be, so I need to get 8 closer to him, and 303 is where I should be, so I need to be 8 close. <laughs> Eight further from him. All right. Yeah, at this point, I'm just going to fly it. Three, seven, three, seven, one. Three, eighty to three, seven, one. Bigger to smaller, bigger to smaller. I need to be closer. Right. I get confused, man. I really do. Okay. Smaller to bigger, smaller to bigger, right? I need to be further away, right? Okay. By roughly about the same amount. Right. That looks like that looks that looks perfect. Okay, I'm going that way. Okay. Now hopefully I'm done with the bullshit. And I'm going to take a moment here and uh, go take a leak. And hopefully you're not having to listen to that. See how my numbers are doing. Yeah, this shit is good. Well, I forgot to check on him. I need to stay about right with him. Yeah, I believe I'm headed in generally the right direction here. Three seven two three oh three is what we're trying to get to here.
Yeah, I do find this enjoyable. I know it's hard to believe. Of course, it is frustrating. Is, is what is frustrating is that you can go through all this bullshit, get these numbers lined up exactly right, and if you're not, you know, with, if you're not lucky, you still won't be able to spot what you're looking for. Because I don't know if you can tell or not, but all these rocks look alike. <laughs> No, we're not quite there yet. We're getting close. Three oh two. Three oh two. Need three oh three and three seven. Two, three, zero, three, three, seven, two, three, zero, three, three, seven, two, three, zero, three, three, seven, two. Whoa, that one's right. Okay. He's close. Damn it. Oh, that ain't right, is it? Shit. I'm right there. 303, 372, 3571, 23 point. Yeah, the numbers are correct. Ugh. This is where it gets fucked up. Right, because it wasn't fucked up before, man. Now, just to give you an idea, what I'm looking for is a picture something like this. This here is some kind of a core. This is the rock I'm looking for right now. This is just decoration. It gives you an idea that you're in the right area. This is taken from a position where you're facing the planet. <clears throat> the outermost hot spot should be more or less directly away from you. Okay. So the planet should be on my right here. Yep, there he is. So this is the orientation I need to be in. But I got to tell you, it is surprising how often I can pull this maneuver, get the numbers right, point my nose down, do a scan, and find the shit I'm looking for, like, right the fuck underneath me. It happens. It happened about, about an hour ago when I tried this as a practice run, just to see if this was going to work. try going over this way a little bit. Pretty sure that ain't it. Now if there happened to be a core right there, Nope. 
course, you have to keep looking to make sure your numbers still line up. 303-372-571-23.3. I'm in the right area. seen anything here that looks familiar. Not yet. Hopefully I'll do better. Let's see what we get here. This is what, this is what happens, man. You get these numbers right, but whether or not you're in the... Yeah, there's, you know, these, these numbers will define an area, but it ain't necessarily as small an area as all that. I really don't think this is it, but it's the closest I'm seeing to what I'm looking for. I'm pretty sure that ain't it. Yeah, there's no way that ain't it. Uh-uh. Yeah, my numbers are off now, too, so... Yeah, that definitely ain't it. Well, it is off in this direction anyway. Okay, now I'm back in there. So yeah, it's generally in this direction somewhere. Maybe. Alright, right. This could be it. This here should be a core. And 
And then there's that little one over there. He's decoration. That one right there should be the double SSD that I'm looking for. And that one right there should be a single SSD that I just happen to know is nearby. This is the general idea, is you want to be able to uh, locate some initial constellation that you can find, and then ideally what you'd want is to have uh, is to build up a knowledge of an area where there's just a shitload of other stuff right there in that area so that you don't have to do more of them jumps to go t to get to them you know like um, you, you do you go through all that bullshit the first time just to get here and then once you're here you can just mine all the stuff that's in this area of course you know I, you know, I haven't shot a prospector yet have I so is this what I'm talking about is this is this the area Am I totally bullshit? What's going on, you know? Well, let's see. Uh, is this a core? Yeah, that's some kind of core. What kind of core is it? I forget. I think it's a core. Prospect Olympic engaged. Granditerite. Asteroid scan complete. I feel like I remember it was void opals, but there is a void opal around here somewhere. I don't mind them. Void opals are void opals are much more valuable than ice diamonds now, but I don't mind them unless there's uh, yeah, I don't mind them in general. Um, cores in general, I'm not gonna mine them. Uh, just because I'd rather have them there as as landmarks more than as a source of revenue. Because once I mine them, they're gone. But if they got SSDs in them, I'll take that. Yeah, that right there may be that right there may be a void opal. If I recall, if I'm in the right place at all to begin with, uh, let me get reoriented here. Okay, well that's the one. That's the one I'm hoping I'm looking for. So let me just shoot him. Yeah, there we are. Asteroid scan. Low temp time and subservice, low temp time and subservice. And uh, this one over here. Yeah. <coughs> that guy. Programming Olympic drone. Prospect Olympic. He should have one SSD in him. Which I'm probably too far away to get a read on. Prospect Olympic engaged. Or did I miss him completely? Asteroid scan. Yeah. Complete. I shot the wrong rock. Well, let me see what that rock is anyway. That rock is nothing. I wouldn't expect him to be anything. Yeah, he that, that rock is nothing. All right, well. Let me shoot the correct rock. Engaged. 
Asteroid scan complete. Oh, I lost contact with this one because I fucking shot the one too many prospectors. I gotta shoot him again. I hope I didn't lose track of him now. I think I did. Is that my core? I believe that's my core. Oh, there we go. Engaged. Yeah, there we go. Low Asteroid temp, low scan. temp, low temp. Right, Eight. fine, whatever. Yeah, that's the idea. That's all I've got in this area. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of there's a lot of preliminary legwork you have to do, just exploring around. And uh, you know, basically, you start out just just going out around at random. And what you're hoping to find is an area where there's like an SSD here, and then maybe you know what half a kilometer that way there's one half a kilometer that way there's one find a whole chain of them right like one right in one place and you have to make notes about how to get from one to the next and you want to be able to find the first one in that chain and then work your way through them i've got an area like that in another system where i where i can basically fill up like half my hold and like go about half an hour an hour once i get there right uh, <coughs> that's the general idea once you once you get yeah that's that's all it is this is the i don't think i really like this system for this i mean being a triple is not that big of a benefit nowadays and um yeah well you know as far as ice diamonds go you know there you can't you can hardly get shit for them anymore uh this only yeah this is i i whether this is worthwhile well you know depends on what you enjoy i guess uh uh, I mean, we'll, if you want to put a shitload of bullshit work into this, you can. You, I mean, you, you can make it work, but there's. Pro I'm sure there's easier ways to make money in this game for sure. <laughs> but I find it interesting that you can do this anyway. Oh, and another thing about this is that uh, once you once you once you farm these things, uh, there's a certain time delay before these things respawn. It takes. I used to think it was 24 hours, but I'm thinking it might be less than 24 hours because I'm pretty sure it's been less than 24 hours since I've been here and farmed these. It was sometime like about 2 or 3 in the morning when I, when I came through here last and hit these when I was first exploring the area. And um, at this point, it's like 1.51 p.m. So it's been, it's been less than 12 hours for sure. But yeah, the shit has respawned, so it might be something. I don't know. I don't know what the time interval. Oh well. Ah. Yep. Yeah, well, that's all I got to show you. Um. I'm. I don't know if I want to cut this down or just or just or just throw it or just leave all the bullshit intact just to give you an honest idea of what's involved here. <laughs> And so it's it's this is a nice way to pass the time, but that's all it is. If you just want to make money, I'm pretty sure there's better ways to do this. I mean, I'm sure this can be applied to other minerals. Anything, anything, anything that spawns as SSDs, anything that spawns as anything that respawns, I guess, would be good. Ah. It'll take your mind off shit, off the fucking coronavirus and the fucking the fucking economic uh, disaster we're going through and shit. Well, I guess I could say that, uh, you know, in reference to the to the recent executive orders and all that shit, that I guess I saw that coming. Uh, about the worst thing I can say for the Democrats is that I never saw them, I've never seen them handed a giant, big, fat, stinking, drippy, huge political advantage that they couldn't somehow figure out to drop on their own foot and then dance around like a bunch of idiots. I mean, yeah, I'm mad at them right now for going through all that shit. Uh, uh, which is not to say that I'm happy about those executive orders because, you know, uh, 
Number one, even yeah, uh, yeah. Number one, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to see the, I don't want to see the nation getting that for much further into debt. Number two, if they withhold, if they, if they uh, defer my my payroll taxes, I just got to pay it back next year anyway. And number three, even if they do, even if that asshole does make it permanent, like he's promising to do. That's gonna fuck. So, that's gonna. So, that's gonna fuck Social Security and Medicare over. And I don't know about you, but I'm kind of hoping to retire here sometime. <laughs> you know, it's. You know, it's. Um, it's kind of like, well, thanks for trying to buy my vote, asshole. But you know what? <laughs> I was kind of depending on that fucking money, and the way it looks right now, you're fucking. You fucking taking the wheels off everything else, and now you're going for that shit. Oh my God, I. Yeah, I'm mad about that. You know, I'm not happy with anybody about it. But we'll see how this goes. Nah. Anyway, that's 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 completely off the point. The other thing I guess I could mention is that uh, this other game that I play, Unreal Tournament, uh, as you may be as you may be able to well pick up, that game is definitely dying. And um, I seriously don't know what I'm going to do with myself as far as this channel is concerned. Once it finally gets to the point where I just can't get get just can't get into a game or not, um, it's been suggested that I play UT4 or or other versions of this game, but um, I'm kind of uh, not terribly interested at this point, really, in any video game to be honest with you. Until they get some fucking decent AI in here, they've got all this modern fucking uh, machine learning AI out here, and I don't see none of it in these games. I appreciate it's a technical challenge, but you know what? Back when, the, f back when I first started playing PC video games, technical challenges used to be, used to be the thing with these guys. They'd get in there just to do it, you know. Now they've got all these fucking Hollywood motherfuckers that come in and taking over the industry, and it's all about it's all about fucking everybody over and just cranking out the same shit you've been making for 20 years just to try to get the next big box office. That's what it's all about. Anyway, I'll get off my soapbox now. I've shown you everything I want to show you. Uh, and this has gone on for well over an hour, so I'm going to cut this short now. Uh, let me... Here, have a good evening. Yeah, there you go. Don't forget to hold your breath. <laughs> 